summary Kobe Blaze's defensive attitude towards his toxic friends on social media has caused a backlash from disappointed fans. Kobe's lack of communication with his friends insulting his marriage led to negative comments from followers on social media. Kobe's real goal was to build a family, not specifically with Emily, leading viewers to question his priorities and intentions. Many 90 Day Fiancé viewers are criticizing Kobe Blaze for his recent actions, and they're probably right. The Cameroonian Mons reality TV journey began in 2022. He joined 90 Day Fiancé Season 9 with his lover, Emily Bieberly, whom he first met in China. Initially, the couple seemed incompatible because they didn't have a lot in common apart from their son. Emily was too controlling and didn't respect Kobe. At the same time, Kobe couldn't understand Western culture or find his place in America. Fortunately, things eventually improved, and the couple tied the knot in the finale. Kobe and Emily got along well after marriage and soon welcomed their second child, Scarlett. In 2024, the couple is being featured on 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After? Season 8 to showcase their post-nuptial lives. They are visiting Cameroon to meet Kobe's family and things haven't been smooth. When Emily met her in-laws, she learned they wanted her to remarry Kobe again. She also discovered that Kobe seemingly cheated on his ex-girlfriend with her. To make matters worse, Kobe's friends crossed the line by saying bad things about his marriage. They implied Emily was a terrible partner for him. Related 20 best reality TV shows right now reality TV is more popular than ever. With so many to choose from, here are some of the best reality TV shows to stream or watch right now. Kobe got massive backlash for defending his toxic friends on social media Kobe shares a happy picture with his best friend from Cameroon Kobe was a fan favorite cast member a few months ago. He was liked for being a responsible father and husband. Unfortunately, Kobe's image changed after he returned to the show. Many didn't appreciate his actions and called him out on social media. Kobe's defensive attitude toward his friends was one big mistake that led him to lose many fans. In April, Kobe posted a photo of him hugging his friend and wrote, He is my best friend and I love him so much. He added that he didn't see anything wrong with how his friends treated Emily. Kobe believes going silent is better than communicating the issues Kobe receives negative comments for not supporting his wife Kobe struggles with communication issues. He didn't try much to calm down his friends when they attacked Emily. He chose to stay silent and let them insult his marriage. In April, Kobe shared a video of someone singing Leave Me Alone. He smiled and shook his head, implying that's how most men act when they go silent. He asked fans, true or false, hoping for funny responses. However, most of his followers roasted him and told him to act better. Someone even commented, so sad to see you shame your wife for trying to care for you in Africa. Kobe claims his real goal was to build a family Kobe would have married anyone close over the months. Kobe has shared some things that reveal his real intentions. In March 2024, he posted a family photo album. Kobe wrote, the goal was and is still all about family, adding that he couldn't wait to grow his family further. Kobe's real aim was always to marry someone he could build a future with. When he met Emily in China, he was in his mid-30s and wanted to settle down fast. It seems that Emily was never the priority for him. He was simply looking to find a woman and would have picked anyone. 
Kobe justifies using his in-laws for financial support Kobe isn't planning to get his own place with Emily Kidd's many 90-day fiancé fans seem to despise freeloaders. Therefore, they never appreciated that Emily didn't get her own place and used her parents to live like a spoiled kid. Kobe also didn't do much to encourage his wife to find their own house. He started living with his in-laws as a permanent tenant and took advantage of their agreeableness. Kobe shared a video defending his actions. He didn't admit that it was wrong for him to use his in-laws. Instead, he made it seem like it was all his destiny. Kobe wrote, we all have our destiny helpers. Related 90 Day Fiancé are Emily Bieberly Kobe Blaze still together in 2024? Are they still living with their parents? Kobe Blaze doesn't like Emily Bieberly's bossy behavior. He's growing tired of her dominating nature in 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After? Season 8. As expected, Kobe's post backfired badly. Many social media users felt he was making excuses and called him out. An Instagram user wrote, let her parents enjoy their golden YRS in peace not with a house full of folks, asking the 90-day fiancé star to get out of his in-law's house. Another user commented, you have made too many mouths to feed and y'all groan, stating that it's a big issue because it directly affects Emily's parents. Kobe's thinking isn't wrong, as many cultures promote a joint family setup. However, such an arrangement isn't normal in America. Kobe complained about Emily's body Kobe lacks empathy for his wife close Kobe's upfront nature and lack of filters have gotten him into trouble previously. When he first landed in Kansas, he implied Emily was fat. Kobe didn't care that Emily was struggling with postpartum and made rude remarks about her physique in front of the cameras. Kobe's comments were quite divisive. It was the first time viewers started doubting him and calling him out. Someone even shared a photo of Kobe on Reddit. The Redditor titled the post, via Sunset Bro 78 yes, let's talk about weight, shall we bro, sarcastically implying that Kobe had also gained weight. Can Kobe repair his reputation? Kobe must humble himself own up to his mistakes Kobe has made many mistakes that have heavily impacted his public image. However, the biggest one is likely his lack of concern for Emily. Kobe will never be able to have a peaceful life with his wife unless he actively resolves all the issues that plague their relationship. He must make his friends apologize to Emily and befriend her. If the reality star wants to ensure a better future in the United States, he must go above and beyond to fix things in Cameroon and find a way to bring everyone on the same page. Kobe must also humble himself and own up to his mistakes. He should actively try to be more communicative with Emily and apologize to her for his past actions. Kobe should also rent a small place for his family. He should let his in-laws live their golden years peacefully while being part of their lives. Viewers will automatically notice once Kobe has done everything to redeem himself. They'll forgive and praise him for his actions, positively impacting his image. The 90 Day Fiancé cast member can certainly repair his reputation. However, it won't be easy. 90 Day Fiancé Happily Ever After? Airs Sundays at 8 p. M. E. T. on TLC. Source. Kobe Blaze Kobe Blaze Kobe Blaze Kobe Blaze Sunset Bro 78, Reddit 90 Day Fiancé Romance Drama Reality TV 90 Day Fiancé is a reality TV series that follows the trials and tribulations of non U. S. Citizens who travel from abroad each season to meet their potential spouses utilizing a K-1 visa. This three-month visa gives the pair 90 days to determine whether or not their romantic and life goals are aligned before they're forced to return home unmarried.
Drama and tension unfold as the couples navigate the tricky dynamics of international marriage. Cast Sean Robinson release date January 12, 2014 Seasons 10 Network TLC Streaming Services TLC Go Franchises 90 Day Fiancé Directors Rogue Rubin, Kevin Rhodes, Jessica Hernandez Showrunner Kyle Hamley Main Genre Reality